is kind enough to fly in from Texas and is going right back there because they, of course, uh, as they do so much of it, they are traveling once again. Ladies and gentlemen, would you greet a friend of mine? I'm sure a friend of yours, Mr. Mark Lindsay. Marcus, how are you, Daddy? Jump up here and sit. You get used to sitting on hard boards and stuff. Right, right. We travel on skateboards. I ne never let it be said we don't provide you with all the comforts of home. We got a piece of film of you and Papa Paul, I think it is. Could, uh, Pinky, could you swing that monitor around so we could look at it? When you guys go out on the road, how much time do you actually spend traveling and how much, uh, say, I think this is a, a dressing room sequence, is it? How much time do you spend in a dressing room? Uh, it all depends on, on whether you happen to be traveling again that night or whether you're uh, just whether staying overnight or, you know. Depends on a lot of variables. What's happening there? <laughs> <laughs> We're doing your... <laughs> Doing with the ponytail thing. Oh, wasn't that wasn't that shot uh, somewhere in the mid, uh, like Cleveland or Cincinnati? Cincinnati. Like Cincinnati that. it was, I think, on the last tour. Do you have much time to yourself when you travel? Uh, no, we don't really. Uh, most of the time is involved in traveling to the gig, and then there's no time for rehearsal. You rehearse on stage, right? Uh, let's be very honest. You know what one-nighters are like? You yeah, I know. You pioneered the whole thing. <laughs> I've spent a lot of time out there. Right. No, but let's, let's be perfectly honest now. Is traveling around the country as glamorous as it's cracked up to be? Uh, it all depends on what you're traveling around the country for. If it's for a tour of one-nighters, it's, it's groovy, and it's the only, actually the only way you can get out and uh, see all the folks. But it's not as... Uh, as glamorous as it's cracked up to be. You still have that crazy bus? Uh, yeah, we have two buses now, and uh, we've got, it, we got uh, a telephone in it now. Oh, and <laughs> too much. You got the TV set still? Right, we've got two TV sets, one fore and one aft. So. And, and the beds? Yeah. All the, all well, that can't be too rough. Now, I want to neglect you now. I want to use you for a very good purpose, to introduce me to a man that other than five minutes ago, hello and goodbye in the, in the dressing room, I've never met before the, uh, wanna, the new member. You want to meet a new raider, right? If I may. Or would you like uh, me to call him in? If you would. I know his name. Right. Freddie, come on in. All right. Dick? Well, uh, full name? This is uh, Freddie Weller. Freddie, how are you? Pull up one of our magnificent slabs of wood. Now, I'm going to kind of neglect you now, okay, so don't, don't, don't get your nose out of joint or anything. But, uh, Fred, what's it like traveling with my idiot friends here? I've spent a lot of time with them. Well, it's a lot of fun, Dick. That's all I can say. <laughs> you can't tell so about far. the bad parts. <laughs> well, all pretty new to me, but so far it's really been a gas. Well, it's new uh, with the Raiders, but you, you work with Billy Joe Royal for a while. You've been on the road. Is there any difference in traveling with these fellows? Just that these guys are idiots and Billy Joe's <laughs> not. You know. This is all said with love, my friend, great love. What is the worst thing about traveling around? What bugs you the most? Well, I think just the traveling itself bugs me more than anything. Of course, you get to meet a lot of nice people. You know, you caused a mild sensation when you made your national debut on the Ed Sullivan Show with the Raiders. Were you nervous at the time? Naturally. <laughs> was it, was it, was it uh, lots of rehearsal and big time stuff instead of this catch is catch can foolishness? Well, really, we didn't have that much time for rehearsal. It would have been if we could. But it was a lot of woodshedding in the, in the hotel room on the rug, we'll out the rug trying to get the steps down. Oh, I, uh, practicing up and getting the routines down. That's something most people don't realize, that there's choreography involved with this like mad big hole in the rug <laughs> in the hotel. What is the favorite thing about traveling? What do you like the best? Just meeting the people, the Raider fans. All right, now, I'm going to ask you a typical fan magazine type question, because so many gals, I'm sure, at this point, they don't know you that well. What kind of a girl is an ideal girl for Fred Weller? What's the perfect girl? Mm. Don't lie now. Must be the truth. Well, that's kind of hard to answer, Dick, because I like all kinds of girls. You it's know. one of those, eh? Huh? As long as they have a good personality, they're easy to get along with. Is the personality the most important thing? I think so. That's yeah. a very intelligent answer. We have five say. volunteers here in your audience right now. Well, they're ready to go. Look, I don't want to hang you guys up. I know you've got a whale of a schedule. How many one-nighters is it in a row? Uh, this, this, we're in the middle of, well, actually the first part of a, of a thing. That's, this is 35 days. And two weeks ago, or before we started this one, the one we're in the middle of now, uh, we were gone for 45 days, which I think well, they gave us a medal for that. <laughs> for stamina. Right. Fred, you have my heartfelt sympathies, love, admiration. You're going to have a lot of fun. They're, they're not that wild. Right. All good luck. Thank you very nice much. Nice to meet you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you, Dad, as always. A pleasure. Right. Excuse me, i got to scoot over here. i got some good news for you over here. In the number 10 position, we've got Gary Lewis holding in there with the Girls in Love, preceded by the four tops, John and Robin, Young Rascals, Elvis Presley, The Turtles, Tommy James, Neil Diamond, 
Mamas and Papas, and you guessed it, this is the number one song. <laughs> 